I'm Christopher Brolly. I'm a Jesuit in formation. I'm training for the priesthood and the Society of Jesus. I'm at the stage of our training called Regency, which is a, a work placement that usually lasts two years. And for my Regency, I'm teaching here at St. Ignatius College Anfield. I'm always very grateful for my previous teaching experience because it was really one way in which I discovered God at work in my life because it gave me such a rich, fulfilling Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday as well. I was attending a young adults prayer group and it was thanks to a, a very providential conversation with a young man who asked me, well, you're teaching in a non-Catholic school, but you're teaching there for reasons of faith because I'd just explained to him that I was teaching there to serve the, the poorest community in our city. And he said, that's a very Jesuit thing to do. And I didn't know what that compliment meant. So I went away and looked that up. I, I read about the Society of Jesus. I read about St. Ignatius and his life story. I read about their commitment to education, their commitment to the margins of society. Uh, their commitment to faith and the church and all of that neatly tied up a lot of the strands of my own sense of vocation and it was from that point that I quite wholeheartedly and quickly began looking at the Society of Jesus and I've never regretted that because at each step I've just sort of felt confirmed and I've, I've gone on from there. In the mornings when I arrive I come up to the chapel and sort of between seven and eight in the morning I start my day with an hour's prayer. It roots everything that I do in the rest of the day in, in my faith and in Christ. So for me to start the day in, in prayer allows me to remind myself of why I'm here and what my mission is here. A lot of the time you come to work with a lot of worries or thoughts or a big long to-do list on your mind and it just allows me to hand that over to God. From prayer time I then go down and the teaching day begins. Joseph. Alvin. Thank you, Alvin. St Ignatius College is based in the London Alvin. Borough of Enfield. There's lots of quite dense population areas. There's a lot of first, second generation immigration to places like this because people can afford to live on the outskirts of London and then travel in for work. But I, I think if you ask anyone who works in these kind of set settings, they wouldn't change it for the world because it's, it's part of what it makes a school environment and particularly one in a, in a community which, is, you know, which has got some, some difficulties as well. It's hard work and you, you don't see the fruit of it as well. I get the impression that I'm often, I'm either planting seeds that I'll never see sprout or I'm watering sprouted seeds but I'll never see them flourish. And occasionally I'll see the flourishing and I have to remember myself in, in all humility that that's not just me. There's, you know, tens of other teachers that have worked with that child. There's family members. You, you are one contributor to the, the personal development and growth of a child or of a group of children but you're by no means the only one. So it's, it's always an invitation to humility. To be honest, boys, that's the absolute crucial learning for today's lesson. If you remember one thing about Brit Mila, the one thing you must learn or take away from this lesson is that the circumcision represents the covenant with Abraham. So tomorrow we're moving on to the next ritual called Bar Mitzvah. Is the bell gone? Yes. Has it really? Yes. Nice try. <laughs> You know, I do believe in that, in that sometimes cliched saying, you know, that people will remember you for the way that you made them feel rather than what you achieved. The boys here will go on to achieve great things, but they will also remember that they did it having fun and with a real human side. And I think in the modern world with all of its professionalization and focus on results, I think the gratuity, the freedom to, to have a laugh, to have a joke, to make someone smile is, is something of beauty. What can start off as a simple question, is God always present? It quickly dips into deep philosophical arguments. That debate that we, that we took part in today is the fruit of a, a longer process. And this is where it's important. It begins from what is on their hearts. They vote on the questions that they want to discuss and then you do it. That debate is, is better because it's come from them. Maybe some people are different and like Finn, but just give the pound to give the pound, not expecting anything. Of course, the irony is, is once they scratch away at the surface and dig deeper, they arrive at life's big questions. Can we believe in God when suffering exists? That was what you know, came around today. This is, a, this is a great debate question. I'm just gonna throw it at you. So the word is altruism. And altruism is when you do something which is good without any hope of reward, you just do it because it's the right thing to do. 
Obviously, one of the cornerstones of Ignatian spirituality is the examen, where we reflect on the experiences of our life and try and ask ourselves, well, where was God present in my experiences and seeking meaning in our daily life? Now, we adapt that for our school situation. So we have, I think it's an eight minute long, eight minute long examen in the middle of our day. The school bell sounds and every class stops and the entire school is silent for those eight minutes. There's part of it which is a great mystery. You know, you never really know what's going on in that time. And you never really will know. <laughs> At lunchtime, I'll have my lunch with students and reflect on their day and, and chat to them about how their day's going. Um, Bye, Paris. Um, he's a good lad. I don't think it's such a, I don't think it's such a I mean, fundamentally, you know, if the mission of the Society of Jesus is to save souls, and we do that through helping people encounter our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Encounters take place through relationships, reaching out to another person, entering into a relationship with them, even if it inconveniences you or makes you uncomfortable. That's life-giving, that brings life, that brings happiness, that brings joy, that includes. Relationships are fundamental to the Gospel, fundamental to encountering Jesus. So they have to be fundamental in what a Jesuit does. A lot of teachers ask us why, why we like, we behave more around you, and how we're more respectful in a sense. I think it's because of you treat us not as a class but as a family. I think that really touched upon us, and I think that's the reason why, not only do we respect you but we respect each other. You just. You take that extra step further than most teachers are willing to go. You'll treat us more of a more of a family member than a student. Um, it's not just about education, it's about building a relationship with the student as well. Mm. And I think you did that badly. That's Alex, yeah. You boys trying to make me cry on the camera here. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's going on? The thing that stunned me was that these were the two themes. Family and work are the two themes that have really emerged in my heart in prayer over the last two years. So to hear the boys to whom I've been at service speak about those same themes without any prompting from me. That, that deeply moved me and surprised me, but in a beautiful way. That makes me feel like it's, it's been, not, not only that it's been worthwhile, but I have been attentively listening to the Spirit in my prayer because I have been focusing on the things that God wanted me to focus on. I have been communicating His love to the children in a way that has been expected of me. And that the themes that emerged in my heart in my prayer time are also the themes that I've managed to transmit to those boys. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful moment. Afternoon, boys. Here we are. My role here in the school has been quite heavily teaching, uh, teaching religious education, and that's been really enjoyable, and it's opened up great conversations about questions of faith. But I felt also a yearning to offer the students tools in which to deepen and, and take further their own prayer life. So I host a prayer group. My, my vision for that has all been about resourcing them, giving them a toolkit of different ways to pray, different ways of, to grow in relationship with God. One answered the first question and the one that stood up was courage. Courage. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Later on I'll return home um, to my community where I'll have our daily mass and then have supper with my community. I'll shortly be embarking on the next stage of my, my formation journey towards the priesthood. So that means that my time here at St Ignatius College is, is, is drawing to a close. And of course it's going to be really, um, really sad uh, to say goodbye to so many of the students and staff that I've worked alongside. And it's been a really blessed two years for which I'm deeply grateful. Jesuit formation is, is, full of, is full of goodbyes and it's one of the things that I found the most difficult upon joining. Being rooted in a school or being rooted in the work that you're in, that's so important so that you can flourish and allow other people to flourish. And yet we have to be capable of rooting ourselves, giving our all, allowing other people to flourish and then being picked up and, and, and placed somewhere else and then being sent on a different mission. So it's just one of those, Jesuit life is full of tensions and that tension between being rooted and being missionary is always one that's gonna be a challenge for me. 
but I think I'd like to think that through our formation we learn how to live with that fruitfully. When Pope Francis was a Jesuit formator, he was, he was asked this same question and he, was, he, he said something along the lines of, if it hurts to leave then you've been truly Jesuit because you'd much rather go to a place, give it your all, build the relationships, much better to leave with heartbreak for having committed than to leave with regrets for having not given everything that you could have given.